here is the desk. I've already torn it apart. I sanded it down. I'm just going to restore it. It is press board. There were some water stains that I have sanded down. There's one example. And it's all smooth now. They're no longer beveled up. Here are two more pieces that need to be sanded. So I'll show you what I did. That is my sander. And I'm using 80 grit sandpaper. Next, I will be painting all of the pieces back to black. The paint that I'm using is Color Creations. This is a satin. I don't know if this is a good paint or not. It's working. Okay. Where I am now is all of the boards have two coats on at least one side. This board had two coats, but the water stain that was right here was still showing up, and you could see it. So I took a little hand sander. This one is 100 grit, and I just did a light sand over just to kind of rough it up just a little bit, even it out. Um, and I just put on a third coat. So hopefully that will do the trick and cover up the water stain that was there. I will be covering every side of all of the boards because I want the paint to act as a sealant to this press board. Also, all of the edges that are not finished that touch the ground, I will be covering as well. After each layer of paint, make sure you wipe down the edges or you're going to have runoff like this. It doesn't look so nice. That was one of my mistakes. Also, do not leave wet boards to dry on top of newspaper. And if you have a lot of newspaper, change it out. Now the paint's dry, you can still kind of see where the water stain was, so I should have probably, probably should have gone a little bit further in sanding to really smooth that out. Maybe if the paint was a little thicker, it would cover it up a little better as well. Um, but this is one of the boards that I will be putting a, a spiral on, so not too worried about it. I'm starting the painting process of some of the swirls. I think I'm going to end up doing a total of three spirals painted. Three, four. Total of four. Excuse me. These are the paint brushes that I'm using. These paint brushes are soft and they're nylon. The paint that I'm using is this one. And on the back it says that it's permanent and water resistant, flexible when dry. Which that's that's fine because I'm going to end up putting a clear coat on top of this just to make sure that everything stays in place. At the moment, the paintbrush that I'm using is this one. It's a, it's called a shader. And one other thing that's really good about this container is that it's a squeeze top. So whenever I'm ready, I can just take a little bead of paint at a time. As you can see, I used the exacto knife. And when I did that, it cut little lines. I'm sure you can see that. I cut little lines 
And I'm actually using that as, as my guideline. The pencil was not showing up that well, so the X-Acto knife works better. Try to keep your stencils so you can use the same pattern on any other board that you might be putting a pattern on. Okay, now all the sides have been painted black, having two coats or more, whatever they needed. And now I am putting a finished coat on, which is a finished coat is a polyurethane by Minwax. And it works really good. I originally bought this for uh, my table. There are the swirls. Touching them up. Making sure they all look good before I put a finish on them. I am not a professional painter, but I do know that to clean polyurethane off of a brush, you need to use mineral spirits or paint thinner. This is a, um, a low odor paint thinner that I have. It's for smaller paints um, and smaller brushes that would use oil paints. Now, this is all I have, so this is what I'm going to be using. I poured some in. You can already see that it's no longer clear, that it's starting to dissolve the uh, paint that's on the brush, along with the, the black that didn't come off from the last cleaning. So I just need to clean everything up because it's starting to rain. Uh, I'll have to finish uh, painting tomorrow, and hopefully, if not tomorrow night, the following day, I will finally get this thing put together. Alright, so now I'm starting to piece some of them together. Get that coffee. Always need coffee when building anything. These are all the pieces that were that came from the desk, but not all of the pieces were there. So I've got my backup containers here of all of the nuts and bolts and uh, pegs that I've saved throughout the years in case of a situation like this um, where I will be piecing some of them together. So whatever I use here, I'm going to use everything from the bottom of the desk up and then when I get towards the top of the desk whatever pieces I'm missing I'm going to start looking through here to find and uh, and use to put to finish off the desk To give you an idea of what it looked like before I refinished it and put it all back together, the whole entire top of the desk was not together. All of the side pieces um, were loose and coming apart. It was probably in about three pieces. There were a ton of scratches and water stains all over it. This is what it looks like now. Pretty cool little desk, perfect for my little girl. And I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please ask below. And I will get to them as soon as I can.